Pagani Design PD1751. Probably better known as the Tudor Ranger homage. The first thing that struck me with this is that beautiful deep black dial. I do really, really like that. Like inky black. Yeah, they could have had a bit of AR on it. Looks like they might be a touch. Got a slight blue tinge around the edge there. But a couple more layers probably would have been better. And then obviously we've got that kind of Fotina look, which is going to divide people. You're either going to love or hate that. I think it's quite subtly done, so I actually quite like it. When it comes to the proportions on those hands as well, I think they've nailed that absolutely spot on. No issues there at all. And then we've also got that applied Bogani Design logo. So they've got rid of the text, just got the logo, which I do really, really like. We've all been saying for a while they should do that, so I'm glad that they've started doing that now. I also really like this stone crystal as well. It's actually a sapphire crystal too, which is always good. When it comes to the actual indices, they're all printed though. The only thing applied is that logo. And again, with that crystal, you get a nice bit of distortion at the edge there. So it almost looks like the dial's curving down. I do like that. I'm a sucker for a dome crystal, as you know. When it comes to the rest of the watch, you probably noticed then, we've got polished sides on this case. So a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. Top is brushed to match in with the bracelet. We've got female end links as well, which is always good. Sand crown. We've got the usual Pagani design clasp milled. We've also got a display case back showing that NH35. That was stainless steel, 200 meter water resistant, and then Chipagani design. They are screwed, so that's always good. Definitely my preferred method, which makes it easier, I think. Definitely prefer that to push pins. And one of the big differences between this and the actual one at our margin is the dimensions. So let's go over them 37mm diameter, 13.8mm thick, 20mm lug width, and then the lug to lug is coming at 43.9. So, really nice compact dimensions. Should fit a large range of wrist sizes. Obviously, if you're a bigger guy, this might look a little small. But if you've got smaller wrists and you've been looking for a really nice watch, this could be the one. But you're probably wondering, what is the loom like? Let's check it out. You might just be able to see a little bit there, but let's charge it up. Give it a chance. So, with the Garni, this is usually their Achilles heel. They don't have the best loom. And with this being Fotina, I didn't have the highest expectations for this one. And you'll see now what we actually have. So initially, not too bad. Got that green glow, candlelight C3. Not entirely sure if it is. So no patchiness and consistent across the hands and the indices. But unfortunately, again, with the Garni design, you kind of expect this now. It just doesn't last all that long. It's a, it's a slight improvement over some of the others. As I keep saying with their later watches, they're heading in the right direction. They just need to up it a little bit more. It's not going to last you all night. It's probably going to last a couple of hours at most. Not terrible, but not great. So now I'll show you what it's like on wrist. And this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. It does lay really nicely. Just hugs your wrist. That bit of curvature to the case, those female end links. Micro just in the class, but the Bugani ones isn't the best. A little bit fiddly sometimes. Luckily, I didn't have to use it. But if you need to, you're going to need a thin tool to do that. Get in. It's a little bit fiddly, but other than that, the bracelet is absolutely fine. But it's all about the head of the watch with this one. That lovely inky black dial. That nice domed crystal. And that really nice handset, similar to the Ranger, obviously. So I'm managing that. But again, they've done their own thing with it. Dimensions have changed. They've changed a few little bits, and I think they've done a really good job. The only things I'd change, add a bit more AR, and just improve that lean. So pretty much the usual Pagani things, but I'd still recommend this one. I just think it's a beautiful looking piece.